What do you see as the district's greatest challenge? So our greatest challenge um, is going to be focusing on the health care, the education, and the economy for our people here. Over my campaign, I have placed over 7,000 calls to voters, and time and again, those three issues came back up in the conversation. On health care, we need to break up the ballot monopoly. This is a failed Republican experiment that has not lived up to its promises. Healthcare is extremely expensive now. Um, we can't afford to have basic services anymore for our residents, and that's just not, not acceptable. Uh, by the same token, we need to repeal the total abortion ban. This is harming women and girls all across the state. I've heard harrowing stories from residents um, who cannot get their care here, their critical care here. They have to drive to Virginia or North Carolina, which now they can't do anymore to get life-saving care because it just won't happen here because nurses and doctors are prevented from doing their job by that law. So there is a lot there to be done and that is the number one concern um, in, in Washington County and in District 7. Then there is education and supporting our public schools, fu fully funding the public schools, raising teachers' salaries so they can do their job properly and that the school can do its job properly for, for our kids. We do not accept the voucher scam that the governor and the speaker of the house want to bring back again. We need to be extremely vocal in our opposition to this program. As I've said before, this has bankrupted a lot of public education systems around the country. We do not want that in Tennessee. We do not want our money, our taxpayers' money, our public money that should go to public schools go to the private pockets of the owners of private schools that, by the way, don't even have the same accountability levels as our public schools. That's just wrong. That is totally unfair. That is wrong, and it cannot, it cannot happen. So we need to be very vocal in our opposition to that program. And finally, on the economy, we, I've heard in my conversations people are struggling. Right In Tennessee, people are still struggling. And the question is, why is that happening? Why have we not recovered in Tennessee like everywhere else in the rest of the country? We are worse than everybody else except Florida. And I think that is because we have 14 years of Republican governance, full governance over all of our uh, state, and that has not been fiscally responsible in, in, uh, in supporting our communities. Right now, I think it is scandalous that the state legislature and the governor want to loan money to repair our infrastructure and service our disaster area to our, you know, giving this loan to our municipalities and our counties when we just gave away $2 billion in a corporate handout, mostly to companies outside of the state. Like that makes no sense. It's just wrong. It's not right. That needs to, that needs to change. Again, we need to be very vocal um, in that. We need to repeal the grocery tax. We need to fund public uh, school lunches for our kids and our students because both together would give a few Few hundred dollars back every month to every single parent, every single family in the state and in Washington County. We know we need that. We know we can't afford it. It's just a matter of prioritizing that over special interests. Our greatest challenge would be the fact that we do have so many people coming here and we weren't prepared for that. So we've got neighborhoods going in with three to five hundred houses in them but we don't have the infrastructure and the roads to make that work. Um, so I think maybe uh, what our biggest asset is and why people want to come here is the people, but at the same time, we have to do the infrastructure that um, would allow us to accommodate that. We work with TDOT, um, which is uh, our road transportation. We work with ECD. Uh, which is the organization in the state that helps us bring industry into this area. Because we, if people are coming, we've got to make sure they have jobs. And if industry comes, we've got to make sure they've got the people and the workforce that they need. Um, so um, it's just, a, a, it's hard to know if the chicken becomes before the egg or the egg before the chicken, but we have to always try to be thinking ahead about what's, it, what's this, What's this end of the state going to look like in five years? And how, how do we prepare our county and our city and our people for those changes and get ready for it?